This video will show you what a whole note is and how to write one uh, in an engineering drawing. So as you can tell in this diagram right here, there are two types of holes. There are through holes, which are holes that essentially just go all the way through a part. So we'll fill that in over here. The other type are called blind holes and those, you'll notice, do not go all the way through. Or basically, as you're looking down the hole, you are blind uh, to the other side. In addition to that, there are some different types of holes. So the holes that I highlighted are all simple holes, or basically just a straight hole that goes through. Uh, there are some other uh, types of holes, like there's a counterbore hole which basically just has a larger opening at the top to allow uh, things like flathead screws or socket cap head screws. Uh, that way the screw, the head of the screw can go down into the part. That way the top of the part can still remain flush. And then the uh, other type uh, is called countersink. And you'll notice that that has kind of a cone shape, uh, which would allow things like traditional wood screws or whatever to, uh, again, go down into the part so that the, the top of the part can remain flush. Okay, so in order to write whole notes, you need to be familiar with a few symbols. All right, the first one is called diameter, and that is the diameter symbol right there. The next one is depth, which is a line with an arrow that points down. And then finally, there are symbols to note which uh, hole type uh, that we noted above. So this would be the counterbore hole, and the countersink would be that. Okay, so what we're going to look at here are a few examples uh, of some different holes. Uh, and these are taken from the images of the hole tool in Fusion 360. So. Uh, you'll notice this first dimension that just says all. Uh, if you look at that line, it's basically showing the depth of what this hole is. So I'm going to write the depth symbol on this line just to note that that is a depth measurement. Okay, the next one that we'll need is the one all the way at the bottom that says it's half an inch. And you'll notice those arrows are going left to right, or basically that is the width of the hole, which is also the diameter of the hole. Okay, and so when you write a whole note, you start by writing the diameter first. So we're going to uh, write the diameter symbol to indicate that this measurement is going to be the diameter of the hole. Uh, and then you write what that measurement is. So, and this is 0.5. Typically, you leave off the leading zero. So we'll just write diameter symbol then 0.5 to indicate that it has a half an inch diameter. And then next, we write the depth. And you'll notice the depth in this one just says all. And what that means is that it goes all the way through the part. And what we do in that case is we just write the abbreviation through like that. We don't even write the depth symbol because, again, there's no measurement there. It just means that it goes all the way through the part. And this whole note is done because this is just a simple hole. And it's got a half an inch diameter. And again, it goes all the way through. So that is about the simplest whole note that you can write. OK, this next one is a little bit more involved. Uh, and you notice that we have a counterbore hole in this case. Um, let's go through some of these measurements and uh, indicate what they are. So at the top, the two inch, that again is the depth. So I'm going to indicate that that is the depth there. The 0.75, you'll notice, is the diameter of the opening part or the counterbore part. So that is a diameter measurement. 0.5 is another depth measurement, again, just of the top part or of the counterbore part. So I'll write the depth there. And then, again, at the very bottom, we also have the diameter of the uh, smaller part of the hole. So that will be a diameter measurement. Okay. And the way that you want to write these is, I'll just write a note. We want to do, we want to do this in two lines. So the very first line is going to be the smaller hole. that goes all the way through the part. So the one that you want to do, one line that has a smaller hole with the total depth. That'll be our first line. And then on the second line, you want to write what the top of the hole is. So in this case, that would be like the counter bore, or it's going to be the countersink. Okay. 
and I'll just title this as the, like, the whole note process. All right, so with that in mind, we're gonna start with the smaller hole or the total depth, okay? And if we look at this, the one that is the smaller part is this diameter right here. So this is the diameter that we're gonna start with. And then the total depth would be this one right here that goes all the way through, okay? So we'll, again, we'll start with the diameter symbol. And then uh, that diameter is 0.375. And then we write our depth symbol, because this one does not go all the way through. And the depth of this is two inches. So we just write two. Okay, next we need to indicate what type of hole this is, and this is a counterbore. So we're gonna write the counterbore symbol. And then we're gonna repeat that same process. So we'll, we'll write the diameter symbol to indicate what the diameter of the opening is for the counterbore, and that is 0.75. And then we'll write the depth symbol. And we'll indicate what the depth of the counter bore is, which is 0.5. And that whole note is done. So again, just notice that we have two lines there. Um, again, one for the smaller hole depth and the total depth, and then one for the, the top part, the counter bore part. Okay, and we'll kind of do the same thing with this last one, which is gonna be a countersink. So again, we'll go through all these dimensions. So this top one is gonna be what our total depth is. Uh, this is the diameter opening of the countersink. This is an angle for the countersink. I'm just going to write the countersink symbol there because uh, we will need that. That is the angle for that. And then the bottom one is, the uh, again, the diameter of the, uh, the hole that goes all the way through. So, again, same process that we did last time. Start with the smaller hole diameter. So we're going to start with this and the total depth as well. Okay, so the diameter first, and that will be 0.25, and then that's going to go down 2.25, and then we're going to indicate what type of hole this is, and this is a countersink, and then we'll write the diameter symbol as well, and that has a diameter of 1, and then to indicate the angle for the countersink, uh, we'll write a little time symbol here, and then we'll say what that angle is. So we'll just say that that is 82 degrees. Okay, and that is how you write a whole note for a countersink. All right, so your next step is you have three kind of practice whole notes right here that you need to do uh, on your own.